G'day and welcome back to Dark Solar Gaming and Lone Oak Farm and we are back continuing on with our uh, insanity I guess is the one of a better term right anyway um I thought I had a workshop over here hmm I wish I don't I'm gonna have to build a workshop where I got a workshop uh, right workshop is a problem I need a workshop Okay, let's uh, quickly just install the workshop. Um, miscellaneous. No, 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 no. Workshop and tools. Vehicle workshop. So I'm going to put a workshop in uh, here. I'll put that around there like that. There like that. Right. Okay. Now, the reason why I wanted a workshop is in the last episode, we determined that our... Uh, Combines, I purchased them with the short uh, pipe, not the extended pipe. So I just need to uh, quickly bring over the combines and just change them out. So the combines are still working on the field where we started last episode, but I just want to customize the other two combines uh, very quickly. Now, uh, I could also. Uh, da, 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 da. Put the tank extension on him. Make it a little bit different. All right, short pipe. No, I want the foldable pipe. Uh, yep, customize. Yes, okay. Right, so he should be good. Right, so I'll take him back now. And then we'll bring one of the other combines out as well. Bring out number three, I think it is. All right, but anyway, so we're uh, continuing on, like I said. So this is a new series on Lone Oak Farm, as I said in the first episode. Um, and the premise of this is it's just a basically a fill-in series until such time as we get going with FS22 in a couple of weeks' time. Um, so uh, we thought we'd do something a little bit different, or very, very different for, for Ducks All the Gaming, and that is uh, using primarily, where we can, John Deere equipment. So... Um, that's why you see us driving around in this thing and you see these things in the garage so that's what's going on it's all right don't readjust your set don't readjust your eyes it's actually what it is right okay you're done now we'll go out and i'll do this one as well and then we'll go deal with the combines out in the field might not put this one away, I might just leave this down near the workshop for now. Okay. But yeah, so the, the snub nose, the, the short auger, um, just doesn't go out past the draper, the 45 foot drapers we're using. So um, we need to extend that out. Or it just makes it um, nigh impossible for us to, to unload. And also means that we can't have it auto unloading on course play as was evident um, in the first episode. All right. There we go, so we're just gonna jump out, come over here, customize. First thing we'll do is go straight down here, short pipe. Uh, I might change the wheels on this thing as well. Midas, uh, Michelin, that's all we got. Uh, da, 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 four wheel drive floaters. Um, I put the mirror on that one, didn't I? Uh, yeah, got just different options. So, um, oh, there you go. Lots of different options. Let's put that one on that one. All right, so uh, customize. Yes. Okay. Uh, so let's go and um, offload these combines. All right, so we'll go find the... We did swap over the tractors as well, using on the work cart, so we've got the 8400 now, um, because the other one just didn't have the guts to, to do what we need to do with it. So uh, hopefully this will deal with it a bit better. Uh, we'll get to offload one combine, then we'll probably need to offload... Uh, this is a bit rough through there, isn't it? Um, probably need to offload this into the, uh, the truck, so I've got to bring the truck over as well with the trailer, and uh, be good to go there. All right. Um, just need to do that. Right. So, 
they need to be on one times uh, put it on five times and we'll, we're much better suited there all right here he is over here he's done his little cutout now again because this has got the short pipe we've got to sort of come in really really tight around the the, the front end of the um the draper so we'll do that take a little bit of the crop unfortunately but anyway that'll be okay That looks like not ideal. We'll no, no, don't. Fine, you go off and harvest another three three liters of bloody crop, and then stop again. You're bloody numpty. Well, we just wait for him to sort himself out. <sighs> there he goes. Right. And then we'll reverse our way back up there. It's obviously easier to reverse in position than uh, try and drive in. <clears throat> so we'll do that until we get these combines pipes changed out. Doing it this way just means that, um, while it's not as efficient, it does mean that we don't um, cause any collisions or anything. All right. So what I will do is I'll, I will go and offload the other combine uh, until the um, hog wagon is full and then we'll go and get the truck and we'll offload it. yet now I'll tell you what I think it might go close to filling it up because it's got an extension on it hasn't it so he's he's only at 50% now so and the Demco is at 75% so another 40% from the combine fill up the last 25% of the the auger wagon possible a very slow unload though No, it's not quite going to fill it. And there, there isn't any point going and getting anything from the other. What's saying? So what we'll do is while we're waiting for that to do that, um, I might just grab one of the trucks now. Um, open up the door. Uh, we'll grab the this one here. Well, who left that trailer there? Okay, let's go and grab a Demco uh, Wilson trailer and um, go and do some offloading and carting. I will grab the double set of trailers. Why not, he says. Oh, wrong. What am I doing? Come on, duck. Right. There we go. All right. All we're going to do is gonna come over here. And I'm going to park on this road through here, or this track in between the two fields. And that makes it easy to come and offload. Okay, so what we're going to do is we'll just um, take the covers off. We'll shut him down. All right, go grab the tractor and uh, start filling up. There we go. All righty, off we go. Yes, but anyway, 
Yes, I hope everyone is enjoying this series um, and is going to enjoy this series. We're, um, like I said before, we're a little bit out of our comfort zone using all the green machinery. Um, and as I've said before, I only, I only muck about with the John Deere stuff, just a bit of a joke. I've got nothing personal against John Deere, um, anything else like that. I just prefer the uh, class as a, as a brand and a colour and style, all that sort of stuff. Um, but, uh, yeah. I have no real, I have no real deep hatred of John Deere. Oh, yeah. All right, so we're at forty percent almost. He's just up there, so we'll go and offload him. we go. First load done. So what we could be doing at the same time is we could also get um, the combine out. We have another two fields I think that were, were ready, had crops ready to harvest. Um, but for the moment I'm just going to do these two fields. We'll just we'll just get started that way. We'll just sort of get into it. Um, once we finish harvesting these fields I think at least one of these fields needs to be ploughed. So we'll do some ploughing and all that sort of stuff as well. But for the moment, we can just get the harvest done on these fields that need to be harvested. And, uh, and then we continue on with everything else thereafter. Uh, I will be using course play where I, where I need and, and want to. Um, oh, am I too far away? No, I'm just right. Um, but yeah, so for the moment, we'll... Um, we're going to try and keep doing the, the happy balance, I think, not too much course play, not too much um, manual control. But, uh, yeah, we'll see how things go. All right. I certainly do hope course play comes back for FS22 as well. Um, that's, that's pretty much a must-have as far as I'm concerned. Course play and class equipment, that's the must-haves. <laughs> All right. What's he at now? He's at 39, just under 40%, 35% now. Almost done. And then we'll just move this guy out of the way. The other one is ready to unload as well, so that's good timing. All right, there we go. He's done, so we'll now head back over to number one and get him offloaded. It's quite amazing that I only get a 30, uh, RTX 3080, an i9, 11th generation i9, and uh, top of the line motherboard for the i9, in the Z590 chipsets, and still some parts of the area where the field and that we only get 30 frames, I'm getting it average 60 frames at the moment, but um, it's just uh, remarkable. Anyway, here's what it is. Hopefully, hopefully, FS22 has been far better optimised. Um, but uh, we'll see how things go with that. All right, where are we? I might just see if I can shimmy my way in. I should be able to. Just those damn indicators or pinions coming out. That'll be all right. Oh, dust. Not ideal, but anyway, we're in there now. <clears throat> Not ideal at all, but anyway. 
offload this guy and then uh, we're going to offload him back into the trailer again. Then we're all good to go. Right, let's have another quick look at uh, the status of our fields and stuff so we know what's coming up. So obviously 32 and 40 is what we're currently harvesting. Uh, so, yeah, so we've got field 31, 42, and 40, uh, no, 43, 71. 42 and 31 are both uh, in a state ready to harvest. 30 is coming into harvest as well. Um, and then uh, our other fields, um, we've got nothing. We've got 41. I don't know we've got 41. I've just got grass in 41. So uh, what we'll do is we'll mow the grass out. Of, well, we might leave the grass in there. That'll be fine. That'll be our grass field. And then we may end up getting some animals at some point as well. Uh, maybe just some sheep to start off with and uh, and keep them going. But uh, I would like to at least get um, these fields over here owned. 52, is that a new field? Was that a field there before? I don't, don't think it was. I'm pretty sure that what that wasn't a field there before. Well, obviously, it's been turned into just some grass field, a grass area, so that's fine. But um, anyway... All right, that's the plan for this point in time. I'd like to purchase field 50 as well. How much is field 50? Uh, 927,000. Okay, that's not cheap. We'll forget about purchasing that one for now. All right, let's reverse that. We don't want to wipe out too much of the crop. All right, so at 56%. Uh, what's the other one at? 60. We probably could go and offload him as well, but it's probably just not. We'll just um, go and offload it. We're right near the truck anyway, so not going to make that much difference. Uh, actually, which area have we. Uh, it's that one there. So finish filling him up. We'll do a quick screen screenshot. Screenshot. Not that he's actually pumping in the out when we take the screenshot, but anyway, that'll do. That, that'll be our thumbnail. Right. Oops. There we go. All right. So, uh, I'm going to wait for them to continue on. What we might do... Oh, you know what? Let's get one of the other combines. We'll him, take him over the field and we'll get him, get him ready and get started. Why not? Why not, he said. He's got the longer pipe on him now, so we should be good to go there. Uh, so we'll head on over, we'll grab a, uh, or better check see what we've got in that field before we make the trip over there. Let's have a quick look-see. Um, so it is just wheat. No worries, we'll just grab one of the drapers and we'll head on over there now. All right. One of the combines is full again. By the time we get over there, we'll be time to come back and uh, empty both combines. So that'll work out all right. Okay. All right. Off we travel. All right. We're going cab for the trip up to the... Uh, to the field. So we're heading over through there. She's so done a good job of um, all the detail going off in the cab, which is good. Can't complain about that. Um, it's always fine. It's always good to see some models by some of our, the good modders that we have a farming sim. Uh, the attention to detail they put in some of it uh, is fantastic. So um, 
Yeah, it's uh, good to see. All right, now we're actually going to be heading up to field 42, which is this one just here. So what we're going to do now is we're going to disconnect our, whoops, our header. Connect up. We'll just get him started. Just as simple as that. In fact, what I might do while I'm doing that, I'll just all right. We'll just see. Make sure the pipe comes out past the header, which I'm sure it will now. Oh, yeah, just enough. That's all, that's all we need. All right, this is the field we're going to be harvesting. So uh, again, we'll get him started. And then we will uh, set up a course plate course. Okay, some straw off it as well. Okay, so what we're going to do with the straw actually is I'm going to get um, the Quad Pro baler and we'll, we'll buy one of those in and we'll, we'll do it that way, I think. Um, what am I doing? I'm going to set up a course quickly on field 42. Uh, I'm going to have around two headlands uh, smooth. I'm going to turn 3% uh, overlap auto, uh, generate the field course. There we go, nice, and back. And uh, I'm just going to turn off that, and then we're just going to get that going. Nearest waypoint, drive course, and off you go. Where are you going? No, where are you going? Where? No, 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 no. no. Where are you going? Oh, you've taken. Okay, that was my bad. I was too close to the intersect of that course. Right. So what we'll do is we'll manually just get past that uh that intersection there so right there we should be fine and then we're going to drive course there we go much better right right we'll leave him to head on his merry way and we'll head on over and offload these two combines now right uh who's closest Nice. We'll do the one that's furthest away from us. All right, so we're going to offload this, and we're just getting underway. So this one, uh, I'll probably unload this guy another two times, maybe, and this field will be finished, and then probably the, pretty much the same for the other field. Um, so uh, getting on with it nicely. You know, I'm going to come in close again. Alright, so unload this guy, unload the other guy, and then by the time we do that, um, we can probably take the other guy up and offload. In fact, what we could do, while we're offloading here, let's go grab the other guy. He's off. Right, grab this guy. Oh, I'm sure he'll have enough. In fact, he probably won't, but anyway, we'll, we'll do it anyway. If he hasn't got enough grunt, he can at least just take it out of the combine and then deal with that. Uh, we'll go up this way. Mm, all right. So yeah, at least we can just get him continuing, continue, get him to continue work uh, by the fact that we can just be sitting down here ready to, to offload him. He's at what sixty percent now, so he probably doesn't quite need to be offloaded yet. So uh, we'll leave him there. He should be almost finished. He's at 10%. So we'll get ready just to reverse out of his way. Don't want to have any unnecessary collisions. There you go. 
as he's finished. So we'll let him continue on. And away we go, we're going to offload the other combine. All right, looking good. Looking good, right. What we might actually do, thinking about the frame rate, I might just drop some of the um, the settings and just see if I can play around with that a little bit, um, get it to fine tune. I, I really don't know why it's doing that. Um, I don't know. Maybe it's the current graphics drivers, I don't know. But uh, anyway, I will try and work something out, <clears throat> make it a bit smoother. One of the good things, it certainly seems like OBS has uh, stabilised. I say that and of course it's going to crash or something now, but um, we seem to have got that to the point where it's actually being quite happy at the moment in the recording. So, um, small mercies there, I guess. But anyway, so we'll continue that a little bit later, but um, what we'll do is uh, we're going to sign off from here, I think, because um, it's just as good a time as any. And we're almost at the 30 minutes, so um, we might as well do that as well floating. So thanks so much for joining us here again today on Lone Oak Farm on the John Deere experiment or debacle, whichever way you want to call it. Uh, but anyway, if you're not already subscribed to the channel, please consider subscribing and make sure you press that alarm notification icon as well when you're made so you're made aware of when more videos are available on the channel. Don't forget to come and join us on Twitch, Twitter, Discord and Facebook. Details for all those are down below along with uh, Patreon and YouTube memberships and all that sort of stuff. Uh, also uh, buying FS22, um, providing us with a very small return to the channel. But apart from anything else, take care of yourselves and your loved ones and we'll see you again very, very soon back here at Ducks Gaming and Lone Oak Farm. See you later. Bye.